Hi, my name is Christopher and today I'll be giving you some tips on how to play Allegretto from Suzuki Book 1. So let me start by playing the piece for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Now, let's take a closer look at the piece. So in this piece, we start out on the D string. So we have an open D. So open D. We have a one on the D string. One. Just walk up. Two. Two. Then we skip our G, and we have a four. So that would be an A. So we want to stretch. Back down, we have a three. Three again. One on the A string. Open A. Open A again. Three on the D string. Three. Close two. Two. Stretch. We have a four on the we have a four on the D string and that's an A. Then back down we have a three. Three. Two. Sharp, that's a two, and the two is close to the three. Let's see, there's a little space. Two, one, open D string. Next, we basically have the same passage, except um, the second passage ends on a half note, while the first passage ends on a quarter note. But the notes are the same. So let's just play it again. So you have open D, one, two, Two, stretch, This middle passage is different, and it actually goes on to the D string. So let's take a look at that. So we start on open D. So we have open D, two, one on the D string. Now we have uh, one on the G string. That's an A. So we have. Then we go back to the D string, and we have one, one, three, close two. Two on the D string now. Two stretch. Three. So we have a D string. One on the A string. Open A. Open A. Three on the A string. Open A. Three. Close two. One on the D string. Now for this last passage, this last passage is the same as basically the first and second lines. So. Let's just play that again. So we have um, open D, one, two, two, stretch, three, three, one, open, open, three, close two, two, stretch, three, three, close two, one, two, one, lift up our fingers and open D. Next for some tips, so in this piece we want to heed the staccato and accent markings so our notes should be separated and they should be crisp and for our accented notes, we want to accent our notes but we don't want to have too much accent so it shouldn't be over the top, so here. So it would be like... I'm 
slightly accenting the notes, but not too much. And also my notes are crisp. So this piece shouldn't be played legato like. No, we want crisp. So that's the first thing. Secondly, um, in this piece, we go from a one on the D string to a one on the G string. Now, this can sometimes be difficult. So to solve this, what we want to do is we want to have, when we have our one on the D string, to transition to the G string, all we want to do is roll our first finger to the G string. So we can practice this slowly to get this done. So one, roll our finger, shift our bow, one on the G string. Again, one on the D string, lower finger, one on the G string. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them. And I'll see you in the next video.